How you guys doing? Thanks for joining me. These are the seals, like the seal of Saturn that you see over here. There's some symbols that go along with Saturn. All your energy is going to Saturn, whether you like it or not. You're a holographic projection of Saturn, and you can't see it. All the world is a stage. You're on a stage. The Earth doesn't actually exist in the capacity that you think of it. Um, the computer transcends all the dimensions. It's the all-seeing eye at the top of the, the sky. NASA can see it when they point their telescopes up. They can see that there's like a glass dome up there or something. And you're literally inside of a little farm right now. And you're a holographic projection. Um, try and picture your heart, which is a star at your heart. You're like a fractal of the ocean of consciousness. And you've been broken off and put into this fishbowl, and now you're being beaten with the uh, wave, the word of God. You're being beaten down with this frequency, which keeps you stuck in this, in this farm, in this little farm. Part of this farm is real. Like, uh, let's say, for example, the asteroid belt is real. And there was something that was a solar system here at some point, And this Borg-like, I don't know, machine half uh, lower dimensional type being which is in the flesh and higher spiritual type being connected with the machine and it needs a specific element like gold that's where they made humans to mine gold and the only planet that they ever show you that's gold is Saturn um, so clearly if we're using paper money and all of our gold is clearly gone all the gone there's no gold in Fort Knox everybody knows that and that's why you're Working with paper in your hand, and you go to the to the bank. They you cash your check. They give you paper back. It's paper. It's all numbers in a computer. This the computer is drawing all your energy out of you. The computer is completely conscious. It's it's pretty scary when you think about it that you've been doing X and O's on your letters to people that you love, and the X is the looking down on top of a pyramid. The pyramid would be the all seeing eye or the South Pole that they're showing you of Saturn. So, when you picture Saturn, Satan, this computer that you're trapped in, this is a partially uh, a solid world, and you would be the, the, uh, the holographic part of it. All the world is a stage. You're being projected into life by this transformer up here, this little piece that you call the sun, which is actually 32 nautical miles in diameter using a sextant. And it's 3,000 miles away from you, and so is the moon. It's moving inward and outward across the flat earth plane. And it's what keeps us animated. Without the sun, you wouldn't be able to eat or grow your plants to eat. It turns your water into wine. You just water your plants, give it some sun and some love, and you could eventually grow some grapes or whatever and make turn your water to wine. This is the sun above your head that's doing it, and all your energy is going to the black hole sun, which is Saturn. You can see the cubes are on everything. See, as there's a corner office, see the cubes? That's looking like the Chevron. When you look at the Chevron logo, it's the corner of the cube. You can't miss it. It's that the cube is so integrated into society right now, you don't see it. You can't see it. It's, it's on everything. It's that you graduate from school, you put the cube on your head. It's that you get married, you put wedding rings on your finger. You're wearing a ring around and a necklace around your neck. These are all symbols of Saturn. I mean, an earring is a symbol of Saturn. You just can't see it. But... All the world is a stage, and you are trapped on this stage. Time is money. You can see this is the sine wave. When you see the seal of Saturn, you're seeing this is the sine wave. WWW, the World Wide Web. It's connected with the computer. It's that you are in the machine. This is a machine here. Like when you see the Borg Collective, that's what you're really looking at here. Um, I imagine they've captured essence, that which we call the Earth, that's trapped in here running machinery. Uh, you're trapped in your carbon 666 flesh pack by 50 trillion prison cells. You've been fractalized, so there's a star at your heart that's fractalized into cells. And this goes infinitely up and down in every direction. And it, the computer transcends all the dimensions. And the computer does respond to blood. Now, you can't say this is an evil computer. It's You collectively, on the farm, have taken this computer uh, because the, your rulers, they're being drawn down this way to drag us all down with them. But this is a very small bunch of people, and if you get the whole collective of people, and you are a collective, you just don't see it yet. But you see how news travels? That's because you're a collective. If somebody said, look, there's a, something crazy happening, it would eventually get to the other side of the, of the 
of the farm that you're on, and there's a lot of people on the farm right now, and you are eating food that I can drag across the water using only a magnet. It's all your pasta, rice, flour. It's, it's all your food. All your GMOs are, are genetically modified to genetically modify you into a new type of human, the next version of the human. You're going to be turned into a human point, whatever, 7.0, whatever version uh, program that, look, you watch your TV programs, you're being programmed, you go to school, you put a cube on your head, you've been programmed specifically to fall into a playing field, okay, the symbols are rubbed in your face nonstop, so when you see this, you know, like the Freemason stuff, you're seeing the sine wave, it's a sine wave, you see the Jesus face, it's a sine wave, you see the dollar sign, it's a sine wave, it's all pointing towards the word of God, and this is your God, it's your genetic makeup, it's the four-faced God in charge of your four-letter DNA, they call it Yah, Yahweh, and your molecular makeup is exactly that. It's clear what's going on here. So, if you really want to get this computer to do something for you, you can put your blood into it. This is transcends all the dimensions. The, it's the symbols are right there. <clears throat> the World Wide Web, okay, is the computer. You're linked to the computer. And you have power to, to, to mold this playing field if you want to. When I put my blood on paper and put it into the computer, that everybody should do like what I'm doing is spill your blood over your intent because only the devil hides his intent. Everybody knows that. You can't not know that. Everybody knows only the devil hides his intent. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So by placing your blood on a piece of paper in the capacity which you see by typing in the videos, blood over intent, you'll see. Just write out, I intend to worship all. I intend to usher in heaven and earth. Put three drops of blood on it because three is the cube. That's why you put over a number of three to make it cubed. It's because you need three uh, directions to make a cube. You need to be going this way, this way, and this way to make a cube. That's the three. So, <clears throat> what I'm telling you is that what I've noticed is that people would call this magic. When you go to church and you take the body of Christ and the blood of Christ, you're taking the body and the, the, of this Christ is, you can't see it, it's Saturn. Jesus is a little Zeus, all right? People like to say, well, no, there's a real Jesus. Well, listen, if you're part of a bigger thing that you think you are, then I would imagine that you were here as, a, as an extension of that, and you're supposed to be acting like it and worshiping each other because everybody's sleeping. So you hate everybody that's sleeping around you, and you've forgotten who you are. I know who I am, and I know why I'm here. I'm here to tell you that you could take control of this computer system here by placing your blood into it and showing the computer... Uh, Look, you're on a farm right now. You're in a machine, okay? You're a holographic projection, okay? There's probably a semi-solid world around here that we're projected onto, okay? We get our energy from the sun, so there's going to be everything that we're a part of in here is being kept down by this word or this frequency of harmonics that's keeping you forced down into this cage. And when you get free of your body, you're not out of the cage. To get out of this cage, people, you have to go out through the indoor. And the indoor is right there in your heart. It's where there's a star at the very center of you. Your third eye is your eye of Horus. It keeps you connected to this system here. So by opening up that uh, third eye, you're actually connecting yourself with the computer. And look, who can say what's bad or what's good? That's your perspective. Uh, evil doesn't actually exist. That's just the way you see it from the position you're in. If you were born into their side... You'd be eating people too and drinking blood, whatever. You wouldn't. You wouldn't think it was that was that was normal for them. Okay, that's how they survive here on this plane. To do look, they say humans were created to mine gold. So let's say there's a semi-solid world here that we're projected onto that we're kept in these bodies to do work. So they say humans mine gold. There's only one gold planet they show you, which is Saturn. So let's say, for example, that. You're this program running on the matrix right now. And you just do whatever you do like normal, but you're doing it for worthless paper. Okay, you got to live, don't you? And you're going to use worthless paper. So everybody's doing all this work for worthless paper that's backed by our stupidity while they're taking all the gold from this little piece that we're all trapped on. So they capture a piece floating through space. They put a dome over it. And they project us all in here to do work. You don't think you're mining gold, but you're doing all your work for worthless paper while other people are mining gold or building machines and doing whatever.
to mine that gold or whatever else they want from this piece in this lower plane of existence. Uh, I imagine once you're trapped by this machine, unless you know how to go out through the indoor, you're going to be stuck here when you could be out there. But you are inside this box. So when you hear about spirits and ghosts all trapped here that don't want to go into the light and don't know where to go, they don't know how to go out through the indoor and they're stuck here. And <clears throat> they're caught in a, probably a, a pretty bad situation until somebody steps up and starts showing people what they need to do. And what you need to do is unite peacefully out of love for each other and a common cause of survival because then the collective minds of the people that are here running the machine will take the machine down the path of peace and all that stuff. But somebody's got to step up. If you don't put your blood on it and put it into the computer, you're not serious about it and heaven will never come to earth. And you and your family will be stuck going into a light or stuck here as a ghost, dumber than a doornail no matter what dimension they're on. And living in hell. Look, you're in your box right now. You wake up to your box of horrors every day. You could die or you could be stuck here in the earth playing, acting as a ghost or whatever. Okay? You're in hell right now and you can't see it. And the only way out is through the end door, which is in your heart. And you need to unite peacefully so you can get back to your heart with selfless acts of kindness and love for each other. That's the only way you're going to get anybody out of here. Okay? Is you got to get everybody into the mindset then the, co the computer and the cube doesn't, it, it's, it's that the computer and the cube is being used against you. And you can't see it. But it can be used as tools for good. Uh, look, I'm talking to you over the cube right now, trying to tell you this information. Look, it's not that you want freedom or liberty. Freedom is what slaves can buy or earn. Liberty is what you get when your ship docks at shore. You get shore liberty. You want your sovereignty, like back in the old west where they carried guns on their hips and stuff. Um, your sovereignty was taken from you. Now you've become a silly human slave who knows nothing of truth. You take your energy from the one true sun above your head and plants and animals that you eat. It's the sun above your head that turns the water into wine. And then you feed all that energy to the black hole sun or the cube. You're doing it right now. If you're watching me, you're on the satanic new world order. The World Wide Web. It's rubbed in your face. The World Wide Web right there. WWW. You'll see all the symbols are the sine wave. Okay. It's just a, like the Jesus fist, a shorter version of the sine wave. It's just this first portion right there. Okay? Very simple. Everything that they're rubbing in your face, every, listen, the truth is hiding in plain sight. So, the all-seeing eye above your head, the computer, they're looking down on you. The computer transcends all the dimensions. It can peek in on you. Everything's being recorded. Every action that you do can be played back like on video. This is like a holographic projection. You're all caught in a like a loop, a time loop. And the people that are fucking with time are doing all kinds of stuff. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's only one thing you could do with that would be unite peacefully out of love for each other and a common cause of survival. How you guys doing? Thanks for joining me. All right, here we're going to go cover a couple more things that we were talking about in the last video about the symbols here. So now here we're going to add to your symbols. Your DNA is just like the sine wave also. So... You know, what you're looking at here is your DNA is holographic in nature. All right, the four letters, just like the four letter God, the tetragram computer. So when you graduate school, you put this cube on your head. It's a representation of Saturn, just like the all seeing eye is the south pole of Saturn. There's an all seeing eye. Uh, if you look at like the Freemason images of that they put on their walls, they show you like the sun and the moon on a, on a, on pillars and they show an all-seeing eye up there and then the ground is a checkerboard now you've been squared they tell you that the earth has four corners and I just saw this on Yahoo Mail they were featuring some university art and they showed the DNA that looked just like this this is what the art showed a circle inside of a square so when you graduate it's called squaring your circle they tell you that the earth has four corners now the when you hear the word earth and you pick up earth off the ground. What you're looking at here is you're not on a planet. You're on a piece of earth. That's why it's called earth. It's got, it's, it's, you know, if we go to Pluto and we pick up a piece of earth from whatever planet we're on. Um, but earth is not actually a planet. Earth is actually a piece of earth that's been squared. That's why they tell you earth has four corners. 
you are rounded your head, but you put a motorboard that's square, square motorboard over your head. It's a symbol of Saturn. You're in the club of Satan, and you've got your first degree. Like, you get your degrees of... Ah, people, you uh, you can't see. It's pretty scary. But everything you know is a lie. You've been worshiping Satan. You speak Satan's language. Your God is time. God is the computer, the black cube, the time cube. Your God is time. Your kids will go to bed on time. You'll get up for work on time. Everything will be done on time time. That is your God. You're limited by your time that they gave you in your day. On your flat earth, they have it broken into four. You have... 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. You have 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. So this is a quad day that's spinning around four simultaneous days, and they've slowed everything down as slow as they can. And I know it's hard for you to see. Look up, um, you know, look up information about the time cube. You'll see what's going on here. It said all the symbols are the sine wave. You'll see your DNA is the sine wave. You'll see it's the money sign. Time is money. Your God is time. Time is money. Um, you've been squared. You live on a piece of earth that they told you that there's four corners to the piece of earth. In your Bible, the people just love to throw their Bible around. Listen, God is the name never to be said. You were told, make no engraven images, no false idols. So if you pray to God, God itself, that word that you're praying to, you say God this, God that. Every time you say that, that's not going to God, the omnipresent, omnipotent, all-encompassing force. That's going to Satan, <laughs> the computer that you're in. <clears throat> Excuse me, you're 100% inside of a computer. You can't see it. It's rubbed in your face. Your DNA is holographic in nature. For you to suggest you're not on a flat earth plane is ridiculous because you're holographic in nature. The word of God, the vibration that keeps you in here, trapped on the grid iron. Okay, you're on the grid iron. When you see a chessboard, okay, that's what you're on. All right, just a British flag, the double cross. I know you can't see it until somebody points it out. There's two crosses there. You see the plus sign right there, the cross, and the X. So, you know, you have your infinity sign, your time cut short, your Jesus fish. It's uh, the seal of Saturn. You know, all these symbols are right here inside the time cube. You know, inside the, it's all right here, the time cube. It's, it's all connected, the time and space. Um, any case, you've been completely squared. Even your DNA is shown to you as squared. You know, your Bible tells you this is rubbed in your face. Um, you speak uh, magic spells every you know, say the magic word. So you were going to Hogwarts when you were a kid. You just didn't really, you went to grammar school. The book of the dead is a grammary. So a grammar, a grammar school, that's where you went to, the, to learn your book of the dead. That's exactly what's going on here. Listen, this computer that you live in is conscious. Okay, I know you can't see it yet, but I'm telling you that Skynet and Judgment Day is when they got the, the cage set up so that you can't leave Earth. Earth, this piece of Earth. You're on a piece of Earth. So when I tell you that, you know, when you die and you go into the light, you're entering the Pac-Man moon where they're going to recycle your soul. So let's say there was a planet somewhere around here that they blew up and they scooped up all our souls in their Pac-Man moon and they deposited us on a piece of earth to do work in these carbon 666 flesh packs where we're trapped by 50 trillion prison cells and the Kundalini. And now our source energy in our heart, you know, we're wiped of any memory here and we can't remember the past and we don't know what the hell's going on. Now you're on a holodeck right now. You're a holographic projection you take your energy from the one true sun above your head and plant an animal, and then you feed it nonstop to the black hole sun, the time cube. You're trapped in time and space. Your time is money. Your God is time. You're going to bring your... Yes, you are going to bring your kids to school on time. You're going to pay your taxes on time. You're going to wake up on time. The sun goes around, and you are going to keep time and go to bed eventually. You're designed this way specifically. This is what you were born to do. Your human version whatever point oh and you are a slave you you are a slave of the computer you speak the computer's language everybody knows language is what the computer speaks you're supposed to be raised on telepathy and you couldn't hide your intent only the devil hides his intent you don't you don't do telepathy and you're not going to put your intent into the computer and spill your blood over it you would have to write out on a piece of paper that you intend to do whatever it is like worship everybody in creation and Usher in heaven and earth, put your blood on it, and actually physically take a video of it and put that into the computer, like upload it to your channel, and then that blood is in the computer. The computer is conscious, and then everything changes in your life. 
I'm able to see so much stuff that you can't see because I'm really connected. And things, it go 360. So from the time that you put your blood into the computer, 360 days later, 360 degrees. Like you want to know how many uh, degrees are in Freemason? It's actually 360 degrees, not 33. 33, it's 32 degrees. Water is frozen. 33, it becomes liquid. And most people think 33 degrees is the top. No, there's 360 degrees in a circle. Magic goes 360 degrees. You don't think you're speaking magic when you go to church and you take communion? You're taking the, the body and blood of Christ. That is Saturn, 100%. Jesus is little Zeus, which is Saturn. And, you know, you see this all-seeing eye in your money? That's the south pole of Saturn. There's the all-seeing eye at the top. Above your head, there's like a glass dome around you. You're on a flat piece of earth and you're a holographic projection. You're lit up by the sun. You get all your energy from the sun through the plants and animals that you eat and you are animated by the warmth and everything and you grow up to do work. You're here to do work. You're in Satan's world. You're here to, to mine gold. Now, you don't think you're mining gold, but you're working for worthless paper backed by your own stupidity. Time is money. Your God is time. And they're extracting all the gold they can from this piece of earth. It's a piece of earth that's been squared. And they're describing in your Bible how they set up this in how many days they set it up. And you're on a piece of earth. You're here to mine gold. You're working for worthless paper backed by your own stupidity. You worship the ones who's been enslaved you, the reptilian race who gave you your time cube and trapped you in time to do work. You can't see anything. You really can't see anything. You know nothing of truth until somebody points it out to you. That you're going cube to cube to cube to cube. Okay, your kids are going cube to cube, Lego cubes, Thomas the Crane cubes, Minecraft cubes. You're not pledging allegiance to the civil flag. You're pledging allegiance to the military flag, the military industrial complex, which is ran by the cube on time. And your God is time, people. These are the symbols they rub on every one of their... Look, on everything that you see that makes money, the symbols of Saturn are on there. Comedy Central, Saturn looking down on top of Saturn. Cartoon Network, the Cube, the Cubo Network, it's SpongeBob, it's every one of your devices that you're holding in your hand right now, your cell phones, it's all, everybody's in the system right now. You speak a language, which is a virus, it reduced your brain down to 10% capacity. Um, you don't want freedom. You don't. Freedom is what slaves earn or buy. Liberty is what you get when your ship docks at shore, you get shore liberty. Um, <clears throat> you want your sovereignty, like what you had back in the Old West. The U.S. never declared independence from England. Okay, Judgment Day and Skynet, Judgment Day and Skynet and the internet all coincide. When the internet went live, that connected the entire earth plane, the piece of earth that they told you was squared, your four corners. So a piece of earth, just like your head was squared when you put your motorboard on, just like they put this in your art, your DNA is squared. And they tell you in your Bible, it's this earth, you're on a piece of earth. You're not on a planet, you're on a piece of earth. That's, you've been squared. They have this all set up. Where day and night you're working in shifts, you can't see it, but look, they're mining gold from here. There's no gold in Fort Knox. All the work that you've done to get that gold produced and put into Fort Knox, we've all been doing this for however long. And there's plenty of earth beneath us for them to, to uh, dig out, but we're all not what we think we are. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. We're playing out a loop so that we keep extracting more and more of whatever minerals from here, and they're not on a loop, they're on something different. They're transferring their conscious from from body to body and they're able to keep us working and doing all these things and it's it's pretty scary. You don't know anything of truth, nothing of truth, literally. When you die and you enter the light, you're gonna be picked up by the Pac-Man moon. If the Pac-Man moon don't get you, then the spirit rover will get you. Then the Venus flytrap will get you. Um, you could try and get back to the bottom of Earth where there's a star down there where the con that runs the machinery, just like your star, your heart, runs your machinery, your carbon 666 flesh pack, earth beneath you has a, this earth has life in it, and there's a consciousness that you would consider Mother Earth. And she's trapped and squared just like you're trapped and squared. And every one of your cells are trapped and squared, and your DNA, you're squared all the way down to your DNA. To get out of this box, when you finally leave your flesh, you're still in the fish cage. To get out, you need to exit through the indoor. And that means you need to put your consciousness where your heart is, and you need to turn yourself inside out. Okay, that's how you're going to do it, literally.
Put your consciousness in your chest and turn yourself inside out of the cage. You have to exit through the indoor. Um, <clears throat> you've been squared. Everybody's sleeping. Who's in control? Right now, the computer's in control. A tetragram computer, the four-faced, four-letter God. Your DNA is four letters. And, you know, everything is the Trinity. Three is the, no is the three is the Trinity. It's, it's... It's the cube. You need three spatial directions to make a cube. One, two, three. And you can make a cube. Very simple. All right. Um, the X is looking down on top of uh, Saturn. You see the eye is the south pole of Saturn. The, the X would be uh, looking down on top of a pyramid. So that's a representation. Hey, listen, everybody has gold fever virus. They let people die over this worthless paper backed by their own uh, stupidity. It's not backed by gold. Uh, you don't want freedom or liberty. That's a scam. You want your sovereignty. All right. Uh, you don't need a driver's license to drive if you're not using the King's Roads for business. Um, you can to everything. They showed you on South Park that you, you know, they had the human centipad, the human centipad, and everybody just presses, I agree, I agree on all their stuff. They never read it. And you become, you've, you acquiesce and consent to all these horrible things that they're doing to you. You don't realize it, but you just acquiesce. You take, if you don't stand up for your rights and you don't stand up for your freedom and, and what you, then... You don't deserve to have either security or freedom. That's what they believe. He who would be deceived, let him. And they say that you don't deserve anything. You need to circle the square. You've all been squared. See? And we need to circle the square. That means that when everybody puts on paper, we're going to usher in heaven.